Hi there. If I should ever pastor at a brick and mortar church again, I think I'm going to name it the House of the Sometimes Sane. Maybe there will be a rear door, a, a back entrance with a sign over that that reads, The House of the Temporarily Insane. Choose your door, whichever fits you on any given day. If it drives you absolutely crazy that your thoughts and actions are oftentimes opposite to the way you want and to the truth you love, well then you fit well with a long line of mentally plagued saints. What will help you? What's the solution to your temporary lunacy? A fresh booster shot of the truth about what Jesus has done for you and what he has made of you. That will drive out the crazies. A famous and favorite MPS, as it will uh, now be known, the mentally plagued saints, uh, the Apostle Paul wrote to a collection of temporary lunatics who comprised the church at Corinth. Paul had been told that their behavior was awful, nothing like what a Christian's normally would be. So, while rightly pointing out the wrongness of certain actions, he sums up his attempt to revive them, which was his primary goal, by telling them that those kinds of deeds were no longer in keeping with the nature of who they had become. Jesus had done something so radical to them that they had become literally incompatible with sinful behavior. He writes to them, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, Do you not know that the wicked will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived, neither the sexually immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor male prostitutes, nor homosexual offenders, nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor slanderers, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. And that is what some of you were. But you were washed, you were sanctified, and you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of our God. In other words, look, you're acting like idiots, but you're no longer idiots. You used to have the nature, idiot, to do such nasty stuff, but you have it no longer. Remember that whole new creation thing? Well, it's true. You are no longer of an earthly birth only, but have been born of heaven. You're magnificent, heavenly creatures, no longer just merely human, only human. So come to your senses, be renewed in your mind, and quit it. Paul, their faithful friend, labored with them to bring the temporarily insane to their senses, giving them the truth, which, along with the Spirit's work, clears the head and rescues the temporary lunatic. I'll bet you found that to be true. Like the Corinthians, our ugly behavior doesn't identify who and what we have become. It, re it reveals we've temporarily lost our minds. And, well, of course, we act like it. What would you expect from a crazy person? When the Corinthian collection of the MPS looked and did awful, they needed to have their hearts and heads targeted with the truth, which is the power of God, Romans chapter 1, verse 16. The Apostle Paul, of course, knew that even when they did not, and he treated them with that in mind. He knew, and really we should too, that revival in our thinking leads directly to our behavior. Romans chapter 12, verses 1 through 3. So, the next time you see a forgiven, sanctified, and justified believer acting like a lunatic, encourage him with the truth that brings revival. He's just confused. He's just temporarily insane. But you're not. At least, not right now. See you later.